guys, welcome back to my channel. So, me and the hubby went to, uh, well, and the kids, went to Hobby Lobby. I needed some paper for a DIY that I'm doing. And the last time I went to Michael's, they didn't have, I think I mentioned it, that they didn't have any um, of the Buffalo check paper. So, I was like, I'm going to check Hobby Lobby. And we wanted to go to Ross. And there's a Ross, like, right down in the plaza, a few doors down from Hobby Lobby. So we went to Ross, we got two toys for my daughter and son, and one thing I can't show you because it's for friend mail and it's super cute and I can't wait for her to get it. Um, so I'm gonna just do my Ipsy real quick because it's not very long and I didn't wanna do two videos because I didn't get a whole lot from Hobby Lobby and Ipsy usually goes by quick. So I got this a couple days ago, I haven't opened it because I've been waiting to do a video for it. I was gonna throw it in with my Shop Miss A but I haven't received that yet and I want to know what's in my Ipsy bag. So I'm just gonna do that real quick right now and then I'll show you what I got from Hobby Lobby. So this is my Ipsy. I love this bag. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I love the marble. And then it has the pink right there. And then there's this really pretty brush by Luxie. I don't even know if I would use this kind of brush, but let's see. Let's pull the card out. Um, Luxie Beauty 560 Medium Fan Flawless, flawless Brush. Um, and it retails for $18. I would never pay $18 for a brush. I don't use blush, I don't use powder and all that stuff for my face so usually when I get stuff like this I save it for giveaways or friend mail or for people that I know that use that kind of stuff sometimes I do and sometimes I can use these for my nails um, when you brush off the extra acrylic powder so I save those for that um, let's see we also got this pure Lease blue lotus four-in-one cleansing milk um, gently cleanses skin, removes makeup, tones, and soothes, soap, and sulfate free. And this retails for $36. Um, I want to smell it, but it's probably sealed. Yeah. You can kind of smell a little bit of it through there. I don't want to open it because I don't know if I'll use this. Um, it's a multitasking superhero. Um, super gentle on dry sensitive skin so I might use this because I do have really dry skin up here and it's sensitive to certain things so maybe this will help with that so I might give that a try I might not I don't know what's this this is Too Faced Cosmetics hangover replenishing face primer and this is what it looks like Cold weather, dry air, and party season means your skin needs extra TLC to look and feel refreshed. Prep with this hydrating coconut milk infused primer to soften, soothe, boost radiance, and improve your skin's elasticity. You can use it under makeup for even application or over for instant luminosity. For a quick pick-me-up, warm some between your fingers and press onto your face over makeup. And it values for $34. This I probably won't use. I don't like coconut, so I might give that to my sister. My sister's not huge on makeup anymore. She does do her makeup, not like she used to, um, but she loves anything coconut and she loves creams and lotions and stuff like that. So that has her name written all over it. I got a mascara, yay. Brooklyn and Bailey, Lash Next Door. Uh, Jet Black Mascara and it retails for $18 so I loved my last one so I'm hoping I'll really like that one and I got I don't even know how to pronounce that name Bella Pierre Cosmetics liquid eyeshadow eye candy in Venus <clears throat> and this one retails for $20 so I'm gonna go ahead and open the box. Oh, 
Oh, I can already tell you I'm gonna love this. That is so pretty. It does have a sparkle to it. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my God, I love that. It kind of looks like a lip gloss, but I loved the ones from Dollar Tree in the LA Colors, that brown one I was hauling for a while. I should have just bought a ton of them because I can't find them anywhere anymore and I don't have any more. So I ordered one kind of like this on Shop Miss A. So that's my Ipsy bag. Absolutely love this one. I actually use my Ipsy bags, the ones that I really like. If it's one that I don't really care for, I don't really use it. But I'm using the Cheetah one from last month, so I'm definitely going to be using this one. So that's it for my Ipsy little unbagging, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. So like I said, I went to Hobby Lobby to get paper for a DIY I am doing. I'm not filming. Like I said, I don't film my DIYs anymore. I just post pictures on my Instagram. Um... So the paper's four for a dollar, it's a really good price. So I just picked up four of these because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be plenty of DIYs later down the road I'm gonna wanna do. Um, I can always use this if I do a pocket letter for somebody or I still haven't found the little clear things. I might have to just order some on Amazon. Um, but I went ahead and picked up four sheets of that. This, uh, this dollar sheet, wow. Hobby Lobby had, um, St. Patty's Day paper so I can make a little box now so I this is a smaller sheet than this one obviously but these are four for a dollar as well they had this in a bigger sheet but I don't need that much for just one DIY um, half of this will do so and then I'll have an extra piece in case I mess up or something I also picked up an Easter one with some really pretty eggs. This was the only one that they had. They didn't have one with bunnies or carrots or anything. So that'll look really cute um, for a little shadow box that I'm going to make for Easter as well. And then I picked up these for a DIY I'm doing. This one has donuts on it. And then this one has cupcakes and some sundaes. So went and picked up that. That was the main thing I went in there for. And of course found some other stuff kind of my husband's fault because he showed me some watermelon stuff and it was 40% off so it was a really good deal he showed me this giant bowl and it's green it's so cute I love this um, so this was originally $24.99 and I got it for $14.99 so that was a really good deal this is a really nice heavy sturdy bowl um, it is food safe and it says don't microwave and you have to hand wash it but that's okay because I don't have a dishwasher but I would probably put candy in this I don't think I would put food maybe I would put like watermelon balls in here um, I do want to have a watermelon party for myself like I've said so this will go great with that for the for the party I can put something in there and then he showed me this and it's just so cute. I just wish it wasn't so red, if you get what I'm saying. Like, this one's a lot darker, but it's so cute. And it's just a huge watermelon slice that can go back here or on my tray or next to it. And this was originally $9.99, and I got it for $5.99. So, six bucks for this, and it's really heavy, and it's just so cute. And then I also got this one and this one says home it's distressed I love the little wreath I can leave this year round um, not sure where I'm gonna put it right now because I kind of have my house decorated um, I have a lot of my Valentine's Day stuff sitting over here um, but I could put this right here next to my tray or on it so um, and this was $7.99 originally and I got it for $4.79 so I just thought it was really pretty and I can always do something on the back and make it like a interchangeable sign if I want to. So got that. I got another St. Patty's Day thing because I don't ever find ribbon for St. Patty's Day to do my tumblers in my love box. I usually just have to leave my spring flowers in there. Um, I think last year I had like spring ribbon on there and I didn't like it so this was kind of expensive it wasn't on sale but I don't ever find it at Dollar Tree 
I've seen it at 99 cent store, but it's really thin ribbon. It's not this wide one. So this was $5.99. It wasn't on sale, like I said, and you get six yards. Um, and it has sparkly uh, three leaf clovers on it. So I'm gonna use this to wrap my tumblers and then I might make a bow for a wreath that I'm gonna be doing for St. Patty's Day as well. So I went ahead and picked up that and then I got two Valentine's Day things. Apparently I'm loving the buffalo check. If you've been following me on Instagram and looking at all my DIYs, I don't even know what happened with that. It just kind of started and now I can't stop and I really like it. So I saw these and I knew I had to have them. They're hard, so they're super cute. They also had a light gray one and they had a pink one, but I want to stick with this because a lot of my DIYs and my home stuff for Valentine's Day is buffalo check and pink. So this was $5.99 and I don't know how many you get in here, but there's a lot in there. So I'm going to use that to decorate my tray with instead of using like the glittery balls and the glittery uh, hearts and stuff, I would rather use those. I think it'll look so much cuter. And I saw this and I couldn't leave it. They also had one that said loads of love, but I really like this one that says happy Valentine's Day. And it's really sturdy, thick piece of wood and it does stand up by itself. And this was $7.99, so. Wasn't on sale, like I said, but I got a lot of the other stuff on sale. So that's it for this haul. I just wanted to show you my Ipsy real quick and I wanted to show you the cute stuff. They have a huge sale going on. Their like home decor, their spring stuff is all 40% off. So it was a really good deal. Um, I was really excited to find that watermelon bowl and the watermelon slice because you guys already know I love watermelon stuff. So. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.